The nuts on tour, rolling in the motor home, moving town to town, never feel alone. Right, good evening. Oh, it is now anyway. This is the site we are currently on. I am going to take a walk to the entrance and out. Hard on your feet. This is the new path that's been put in. Good evening. I'm now doing a site run on the site we're on. It's a bit breezy, so I apologise if there is any wind noise. This is the A361. Name of the site is Southfield. It's in a 50 mile an hour stretch on this road. As you can see, it's perfectly straight. It is a caravan and motorhome site. Nice, easy swing in actually from either direction. This is the entrance. You come up here through the gates which, like I say, it's Caravan and Motorhome Club, certified site, members only. Gates are opened at 7 a.m., I believe, and closed at 10. You then need a code, because there is a lock on it, a big old lock. You need the code for the lock. You drive around this way, and the site, as you can see, where everybody's parked, is over there. The owner's house and property is on the left as you come in. This is all private. There are lights up there, which do light up at night. You drive around here. That gate over there is actually the private entrance to the residents who live, or to the owner who lives here. This area is a car park, officially, where if you have visitors, they can park here. If it's wet and they don't have to go on the grass. The site, as you can see, goes down there. There's a path along here to the water information board, etc. There is no pictures on that side of the site. All the pictures, the five pictures, are down the left-hand side, so they actually get, depending how you park, you get the sun. If you can imagine, that's east, that's west, where the entrance is, virtually, and that is south. So if you park like we have, and the caravans, you will get sun all afternoon, if there is any. There's a little bit of construction work going on, but it's it's going to be a lodge, I believe, two bedroom lodge. You can, if you have a small enough motorhome, actually pull it into this area here, so you can actually fill up, empty your waste, which is here and fill up with fresh water. You've got bins for all your recycling and dog mess. The Elson Point is in here and the information board is here which has got bus timetable on it, a local map, local vet, local hospitals and a couple of information leaflets because there is a canal not too far from here. So there is five hookups, nicely spaced down here. Like I say, hard standing. We fit. And there is a bit of space behind us, but the hard standing, and we're not right to the end. And we're 8.71 meters long. There's a nice gap between us and the neighbors. So, you know, you could park your car here if you wanted. 
we've actually parked ours behind, but it could go there. And then use room for your awnings, air brakes, etc. And this is the space we've got. But like I say, it's a big paddock. It is adults only. And if you should wish to be off grid, it's £15 a night. And if you want EHU, which each pitch does have, then it is £20 a night. And there is some lovely views. Living life on the go With every sunset glow Memories start to flow In this endless show Meeting friends Old and new Sharing stories It's what we do Lots of Adventures never stray Living life on the go With every sunset glow Memories start to flow In this endless show oh, oh, oh. Living life on the go With every sunset glow Memories start to flow In this endless show So...